Hi traders, welcome to this presentation for a new automated trend line trading system from FX Argo Trader called Platinum 16. A lot of people realize that trading from trend lines can be very profitable. The beautiful thing about it is you can draw trend lines on a, a MetaTrader 4 chart and you can configure them to auto trade in your absence. We've developed over the period of years several different trading uh, automated trend line trading tools and this is the latest creation which is a, a bit of a change from uh, our old systems this uses a brand new Java FX interface for controlling the underlying system so let's show you how it works so let's say for example we're looking at any particular chart you care to mention I'm just, oh, I'm just going to clean this one up a little bit this is a cable chart sterling US dollar and this look at some of these lower time frames and this is pretty messy price action we've got here but let's say for example we've seen a huge uh, depreciation in the, in the value of sterling against the US dollar lately and so you may be looking at some of these swing high points here and, and thinking well okay if we break through this we may want to configure um, this trend line so that we can go long on a break of this trend line so what we have, Platinum 16 looks a bit like this. This is the login screen. So you can, if you're a demo customer, you put your email address in down here. If you're a licensed customer, you put your unique reference number and ID into these boxes. Then you tick customer login. And it'll, if your email settings aren't set, it'll give you this little warning. And then you'll see the product catalog. This is what we call the JFX product catalog. So all of the FX Argo Trader products which have JavaFX front ends are finding their way into this product catalog as we code more of them up. So we've now got Platinum 16 in here, which looks like this. So this is our main control interface. Platinum 16 differs from the old Platinum version in the in several different ways. Um, Platinum was written in uh, a language called Swing, which was the old interface language for Java. JavaFX is has replaced Swing and what we now have is the whole of the Platinum 16 interface is available through one window so no additional pop-up windows we can basically go to all sorts of different parameters from within the same interface and obviously we can move this around wherever we want on our chart so then when we then we close the system down and go back into it it'll remember where it was in the same way that we can resize the window accordingly and then there are scroll panes within the window itself so you can obviously navigate around and you can make this exactly as big or as small as you want to meet your requirements so if I, I personally like to see that's about my optimum settings there so the other thing as well is with the old system the old platinum system you had to scan the chart there was a button where you had to scan the chart and then a drop down would come up with all your uh, trend lines which have been detected with Platinum 16 all you do is simply click on a trend line uh, once the expert advisor is loaded and you can see here it's come up with trend line 59379 and then you just tell the system what you want to do so in this case we want this to be a buy and that's already selected and we want it to be a break and we've got several different break options if we go for break touch that means that all the, all the system has to do is just make these take profit levels a little bit wider so we can see what's going on so I'm going into a daily chart. Let's make our take profit level say uh, 150 pips, and we'll make our stop loss uh, say 40. And we've also got a sensitivity channel here as well. So what this is doing, you can see this little channel here. It means that price action must break the actual trend line and stay within this channel in order for the trade to execute. So it just stops. A situation where you get a, a really fast break it goes clean through and you know you end up getting filled very very high so this this prevents that from happening so that's our break touch trade scenario so we've got our stop we've got a, a trigger channel here and we've got our total profit level we can adjust these instantly by just making adjustments to the spinner parameters in the interface we can obviously define the number of lots we want to trade very simply and those are reflected here in the lots text above the trend line 
and we can also create multiple exit levels as well so if we want to say for example we we'll, want we'll to scale out and maybe take 50% of the trade at 142 pips and maybe another 50% of the trade at say something a little bit higher say 200 pips now we've got two exits and we can have up to four exits the other things we, we can do as well is we've got a lot of control over the colors so we use what's called a trigger grid and the trigger grid is basically designed to allow the trader to define the trading parameters around the trend line so you can see visually where your stops are, where your take profit levels are and where your trigger levels are so if I turn the grid off you'll see it just disappears but it's very useful to use the grid in pre-trade situations and once the actual trade triggers you turn the grid off and then you can manage the stops and take profit levels either graphically or you can uh, use the MT4 terminal in the standard way. We can also control colors so at the moment I'm, uh, I've got a TP grid which is take profit grid uh, the colors here are blue and it's 10 periods long I can change that to whatever I want so I can have it 50 periods long if I want so you can see here it's moved those way out to 50 periods that's the that's the length of the take profit grid line in the same way I can change the styles of the lines so I've just changed my stop loss uh, grid line to dotted and so forth and I can see change colors as well if I want to so I've changed that to an olive color now we've also got lots of different trading behaviors so we have uh, break touch which is, which is a momentary uh, break above a line and providing it, it stays within the range we're going to trade a break close is simply just a, if it closes above the line it will execute the trade then we can have a close and define range which is a break CIDR and you can see here we've got a channel which we can control here the CIDR range allows you to change the range from whatever you want X pips to Y pips so at the moment our, our range is 10 to 20 we could easily make that uh, say 50 pips we'll get a nice wide trigger channel we've still got our multiple exits we've got some other pretty sexy things here as well we've got uh, obviously a training stop functionality and we can start trailing after X pips in profit and we can also set the stop loss to break even once the position is in profit by a certain number of pips as well so quite a, a rich set of training stop functionality so you can set up multiple trend lines on a chart and you can so if I click on that trend line it goes bold you can see it's been selected by the system I might want that to be a buy trade on a, on a base a touch of the support level so to make things less confusing just turn the grid off on the trend line you've already configured go back to the trend line that you were you want to configure and you can see here now we've got a stop and a take profit level so stop take profit and you can see here that's 59788 and you can see the stops and take profit levels correspond with the actual trend line number so easy to control uh, you can make very quick changes to parameters we've got other quite advanced functionality such as OCO one cancels the other if you use that that means that if uh, one trend line triggers before another one the uh, trend line which didn't trigger gets deleted automatically by the system so that's a very quick overview of the Platinum 16 system it's much quicker to configure than the other variants so because you don't need to scan charts I mean look at this you just I just clicked on this chart here and it's picked up that trend line for me automatically I can configure that trend line so quickly to be whatever I want in terms of trading behavior so I put 300 pip take profit and 100 pip stop loss on that and we can obviously change the sensitivity channel and so on so you can see here if I just zoom in it's a weekly chart that's what we've just set up so if we see a retest of this trend line bearing in mind price action often comes back to retest historical trend lines we'd execute our trade and we'd go short when price action went into the, inside this trigger channel other things that you want to be aware of are you can set the trend lines to only trade once so if you click single order it will just trigger once and that's it game over with the new version of Platinum 16 when you delete a trend line from the chart it also removes all the old parameters as well so if we I'll just show you very quickly what that means so 
this is the MT4 files folder where a lot of the trend line parameters are stored. So if we go down to let's have a look, we've got trend line 59276, 59276 dollar yen. So if I go to MT4 and I delete that trend line and then go back in here, you can see now that the trend line is being deleted. So the housekeeping function was within Platinum 16 are far superior to the old Platinum version which just left the trend line parameters in the files folder uh, which obviously meant that you'd have to do a bit of manual housekeeping from time to time. A few other enhancements if you try and make parameter changes when there's no trend line selected you'll see here no trend line selected and you're in big red writing but as soon as you then draw a trend line and then click it obviously it comes back into uh, normal operating behavior so that is the new Platinum 16 system, very quick to configure, neat JavaFX interface, repositionable, rescalable, everything on one screen with filter controls, uh, help system, all that kind of stuff. So quite a, quite a nice little uh, set of enhancements. So there you go. If you require any more details, it's uh, info at fxlgotrader.com. Thanks for watching.